at Budget Sushi and we have Cassie who runs her own YouTube channel Cassandra Lord where she explores Japan through food. Today we're going to be exploring some safe budget sushi options as well as some things I wouldn't get at a budget chain restaurant and we're going to be looking at some more adventurous options as well. All right I'm excited let's get going. Let's go. Today we'll be visiting four of our top picks for budget chain restaurants in Tokyo. From standing sushi bars to convey about sushi, you can get plates starting from just 150 yen. So let's see what these cheap chains can offer. First up on our budget sushi chain list is the standing sushi bar Uogashi. So standing sushi is a good option for businessmen because it's a cheap and quick way to get your lunch. But for tourists, it's a good option because it's something that's a bit different. You probably haven't seen this where you're from. And you can see all of the sushi right in front of you and even see the chefs making the sushi. So they pass it to you over the counter. So today I've ordered some katsu and some unagi. So let's try it out. I love unagi. <laughs> like, I love the sauce. It's always really sweet and it has a good texture to it. It's kind of soft. Yeah, it's just one of my favorite types of sushi, actually. <laughs> like all the sushi chains on our list, Uogashi has an English menu. And don't forget about the complimentary green tea. Standing sushi bars usually only have space for around 10 customers. So they might be tricky if you're in a big group. So let's move on to our next recommendation, which larger groups can enjoy too. At a budget sushi restaurant, there are two things that I would tend to avoid, squid and uni, which is sea urchin. The reason for that is that I've never had good squid at a cheap place. It's always been very chewy. And as for the sea urchin, when you get a cheap one, it tends to be quite watery and a bit salty. So instead of those two, then at Sushi Zamai, they are known for their tuna. Tuna is a great crowd pleaser, and at Sushi Zanmai, they have five different types, ranging in fattiness. If you're not really used to the fatty style, then the lean tuna, which is the red tuna, might okay. be the better one to start with. Me, the most basic of sushi eaters, that one sounds perfect. Okay. <laughs> to order, match the numbers on the menu with those on the provider sheet, mark which sushi you'd like, and then hand it to the staff. Not only did we try out the tuna, but we also gave fresh wasabi rolls a go. Usually the wasabi that you get in chain sushi restaurants is often going to be fake wasabi, which has horseradish in it and is very, very spicy. But fresher wasabi is a little bit more mild, a little bit more sweet. So it's a more flavorful experience. Pretty mild, right? It, it's not like, you know, the normal cheap store wasabi at all. Literally, it's, completely different. It's quite vegetal. That's kind of completely different. I'm kind of blown away. <laughs> yeah, that's what fresh wasabi is meant to be like when you yeah. have a wasabi maki. It's supposed to be like kind of sweet like this. Our next budget sushi pick is one of Japan's many conveyor belt restaurants, Gansou Zushi. In Japan, there are loads of different types of conveyor belt sushi, but at most types, you can order your sushi, which I highly recommend because you don't know how long these have been going around on the belt. Whereas if you order it, then they'll make it fresh for you. Conveyor belt restaurants are a popular spot for budget sushi in Japan. There's many different chains, Gansou Sushi, Kuda Sushi, and Sushiro being just some of them. They all have similar pricing, but let us know in the comments if you have a chain you swear by and why. So we're going a little bit more adventurous now. What do we have, Cassie? Now we have katsuo, which is also called bonito. We have mackerel, and we have something that is called kani miso in Japanese. Mm -hmm. But in English, I think we would just say brown crab meat. It's like the innards of the crab. Delicious, right? <laughs> so let's try it. <laughs> I actually like crab, but let's see. It's very, very crabby. Like the brown part. Kind of salty, tastes like the ocean. If you like the ocean, eat it. <laughs> if you don't like the ocean, don't eat it. As for our other plates, Bonito is a good option if you're looking for something sustainable. If you're interested in knowing more about which seafood is more sustainable than others when dining on sushi in Japan, check out our sustainable sushi article. Our fourth recommendation for budget sushi is the chain store Uobe. 
So we're here at Uobe, which is like the theme park of sushi restaurants because you can order everything straight to you. But that also makes it very good for beginners because you can order everything on a tablet in English and it comes straight to you without you having to talk in Japanese or English to anyone. And so in the spirit of everything being fun and everything just jumping around and coming up to you, then we are going to get some fun, wacky versions of sushi as well. So we've got a corn sushi, we've got a prawn tempura roll, and we're also going to get a hamburger sushi. You can, of course, get the main seafood staples like tuna and salmon as well. So uobe is great as it has something for everyone. It's also just incredibly fun to order something and then have it come shooting out to you. I think my favorite was the unagi at the standing sushi restaurant. Yeah, I would agree with that. That one was really good. But you guys let us know which one you would like to try. And do check out Cassie at Cassandra Lord. Her YouTube channel will be in the description. I'll see you there. Bye. Bye.